the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us in downtown New Orleans at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be taken in at the 1. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Come on, here Let's come go. the Saints for their opening drive. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height standing at 6'6". And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And the Buccaneer defense for the second straight play, flexing its muscle by forcing a loss. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive of your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield? to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Off play action, Herbert. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Holding offense. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They run the counter. Benjamin, and if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. And a look now at the offense for New Orleans. And the big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs? Because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. They stay on the ground. This time it's Camara. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Kamara off the draw. 
And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? The kick by Lutz is good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. They're led out by a man raised in Alabama, went to Florida State. It's their quarterback, Jameis Winston. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Jameis to throw it. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be a second down. It's now a second and six. Daddy, the way. Mike, Wrecker, Wrecker. To throw, Winston. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The numbers there for Howard a week ago. Four catches, 68 yards. And in doing preparation for the game, you notice where guys rank in the league in terms of statistical categories. He's fourth in the league in receiving yards. That caught my attention in a positive way. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And some momentum going, driving down the field. That'll set him back first and 15. I mean, that type of play, when you've got to go in your direction, shoot, my man old Moe's arching an eyebrow at him right now. You've got me going. Keep me going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. This unit, they've struggled a little bit against the pass, ranked number 21 in the league. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on a roll or they chip away at their timing. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Winston. He completes it to Evans. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Winston on third and two. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. From eight yards out, and the Bucs have taken the lead. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 
makes the score. Buccaneers seven. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Got you. I got you, son. I got you, son. Check, check. Camara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Off the play fake, Herbert. Blitz coming and down he goes. Set, baby. <laughs> Good job. He probably feels like he cannot get a break. He was sacked seven times last week. And here we go again in the first quarter. And we always talk about the internal clock of a quarterback in the pocket and how he has to have a real keen sense of it in order to get rid of the football. After being sacked seven times last week, that clock has been sped up. Throwing on third and long. Herbert, and that will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Let's go. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Winston now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. They run right side with Hunt. He'll be taken down well behind the line, and I think he might have just given those four yards right back. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Open man is Godwood. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 39. And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and then, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on a line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. They run with Hunt. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. From the 38, Winston. Open man is Howard, the tight end. He got 29 yards that time. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. 
Here we go, here we go. To throw is Winston. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Big O.J. Howard, his intended target, but it'll be second and goal. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Winston. And he completes it to Hunt. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third and goal. Again, it's Winston. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Score, score. From six yeah. yards away, as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Hopkins with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the ground, Kamara. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. After one, a 14 to three ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. To throw on second down, Herbert. And that is incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. Third down here. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Over the middle, complete. That's Jordan. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. On second down, it's Hunt. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. After the penalty, it's Henry. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. 
He's playing hard, brother. Oh, and Brings up second and Whoa, seven. Go. At the Let's 19 get. yard line. On second and seven, Winston. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. The Bucks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. That's caught by Howard. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Jameis now on first down. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That throw good for four. It's second down. On the run, this is Hunt. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He lost four there, and it's third down. The Bucks on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and nine. Working out of the gun, Winston. And he hauls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. touchdown. Three touchdown yeah. passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And it's 21 to three. So that drives seven plays in length and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Second and ten. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. From the gun on third down, Herbert. And he's unable to haul it in, so it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field, and that brings up fourth. Well, it's looking like another three and out here, and at some point, got to be able to put together a drive to keep your defense from having to go right back out on the field. I feel like things are starting to unravel a little bit, and we're not even at halftime. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. A first down carry for Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. On second down now, it's Hunt. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. 
He lost two there, and it's third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. False start, offense. So that'll back them up five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. From the gun, Winston. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Back to throw. Herbert. He'll find Miller. That's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. He'll air it out deep for Thomas, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy. The other team's going to be unhappy. So I, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, partner. They've got to do a better job up front and create some space because they're right there, almost literally on their own goal line. Just a couple of feet away from a safety. That could have been disastrous. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's only able to get it to right around the three. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up their down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Now, after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. Winston toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard, but it's going to be second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking for the running back, Derrick Henry, and it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. On third down, here's Hunt. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert, they'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down, Herbert. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Vita Vea able to record his fifth sack of the season. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Looking to throw. Herbert, he's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape as we look around the NFL here in week number seven. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game has been Jameis Winston, who's been on target in the first half. His three touchdown passes have his guys out in front as we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bucs to take over on offense. They were winners last week, defeating the Raiders, and right now they're in the driver's seat here as they start off first and 10. Winston and the Bucs take over now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run. This is Hunt. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Off the play fake. Winston. And he finds Howard complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. Let's go, fellas. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. In on the stop, Vernon Hargraves. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. 
draw play. This is Henry. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, it put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Now Kamara, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards on that last run, so here is second and seven from the 28. Quick throw caught out wide by Renfro. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Herbert. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They run the counter. Benjamin. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On second down, Kamara. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw. Herbert. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Solomon Thomas in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. To throw on second down, Herbert. Throw left side complete. It's Jordan. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, and it's third down. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Jameis Winston and the rest of the Bucs set to begin this next drive. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. 
They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. They'll run on first down. Hunt, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Derrick Henry, only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Jameis to throw it. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was a nice throw out there into the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Set, ready? And low ball. Check, 56. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him breathe. Wait, ready? They begin on the ground with Kamara. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So the penalty certainly check, check, helps them out as they come up on second and five. From the gun, Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that takes us from second to third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. The catch made by Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert got his man complete over the middle. That's Jordan. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. That's Garrett Bowles, the former first-round pick, the guilty party. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Following the penalty, it's Kamara pushing forward for three up to the 48. On second down, Benjamin. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On third down, here's Kamara. And they will advance this across midfield, but still well shy of a first as he's tackled at the 47. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. On fourth down, Herbert. And it is incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the side. Rush coming, and he's taken down. I'm going to hit you all. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run it here with Hun. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They'll run again with Hun. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. It's a game of ten. First down, Buccaneers. On first down, it's Henry. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Now Hunt. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And it's third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On third down, Winston. That one is caught by Hunt. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. On fourth down, Herbert. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and mash it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, hard to start them up again. So I think you may want to keep them cranking high right here. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Throwing, Winston. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sacked back at the nine-yard line. 
It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. A give right side now to Hunt. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Third and goal, Winston. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for a loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Hopkins' kick is good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So he remains perfect, three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. That catch, number 750 of his NFL career, and it puts him even with not just one, but two Hall of Famers, Michael Irvin and Charlie Joyner. So some pretty good company at 750. Now you're talking about the playmaker, Michael Irvin, and the guy who just made plays, Charlie Joyner. And that's what we're seeing here. Similar style in terms of being dependable, being open, and turning it into plays that you remember. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On first down, Herbert. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds, and they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Twelve yards on the return that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten at the 41-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert, he's got the hook up to Miller. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post 
because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Got heavy. Second down and 10. Ready, ready. Throwing again. Herbert. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a gain of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Second and three, and this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Will Lutz on for the point after. And the lead is down to 20. Just a four-play drive that time. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. This is Hunt. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long, he's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Bucs, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through seven games. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.